Aloha! Aloha. Irene and Van here with Just Be Out. We love to create informative videos for you guys so you get the best out of your vacation. And now let's get into the topic of this video. Which is 20 of our personal shockers about Hawaii. Just, Just be, be out, out with us. We've been living in Hawaii for just about three years now. But within the first few weeks to a month of being here, one of the first things that I personally noticed was the amount of Tacoma pickup trucks that's on the island. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, it seems like every other car you see or vehicle you see is a Tacoma pickup truck. You definitely see this specific brand of cars more often than anywhere else. And speaking of trucks, another shocker that I've noticed is people actually riding in the back of a pickup truck. That is mind-blowing anywhere in the US on the mainland or in other countries. It is illegal but not in Hawaii. Everybody does it, even little kids. You see dogs, you see big groups in the back of the pickup truck. That is crazy. Another shocker for me that I was totally unaware of until we moved here was the amount of homeless on the island. You don't really think of coming to a beautiful place and seeing that many homeless, particularly on Oahu. Another shocker for us was the amount of Asian influence on the island and Asian tourism as well. When we came here as tourists first, right away Devon is like, oh my God, do you see how many Asian tourists that are here? It is uh, shocking. And the tourism industry caters a lot to Japanese tourists. So there are a lot of signs in Japanese. A lot of people actually speak Japanese as well. And there are even dedicated buses just to Japanese tourists that uh, any other tourists are not even uh, able to get on. Another shocker to us was the amount of high-end stores that are here on the island. You think about island life, you think simplicity, laid relaxation, back, re lay back, but shopping here is pretty developed. You see all major brands and also big box stores such as Walmart, Target, Costco, mm -hmm. Whole Foods. Right. And of course, Hawaii has the biggest outdoor mall in the world as of 2018. So that's remarkable. I did not know it was coming from New York. I didn't think that I would see the same stores that I would see on Fifth Avenue here on Hawaii. So that was a total shocker. And even after telling uh, close friends of mine from the mainland that, oh yes, there's a Prada here and there's an Apple store and there's this and there's that. And they're like, really? They couldn't believe it. So yeah. At least I didn't feel like I was the only one that didn't know this. <laughs> and thinking of Hawaii as a chain of volcanic islands, you would think all the islands are so close together, about 20 to 40 minute flight between each other, and they are all made the same, and they're in the same area, like right in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But you would think they would all be the same, but... <laughs> not. They are so different. One island varies from another island so much. On the big island, you get volcano eruptions, lava. You see the terrain uh, has lava flows and black lava fields. It mm -hmm. is crazy. Yet you go to Kauai and Kauai is, it's a garden isle. Mm -hmm. It's so lush and green, so many waterfalls. You go to the island of Lanai and mm -hmm. it is so dry and red mm -hmm. it is crazy and yes even though hawaii is famous for the waikiki beach you might think well that's the same thing as like cancun or miami. south beach in miami but no not at all it's not a party beach guys a lot of people think that they would come here and it's like oh we're gonna get trashed on the beach and no it's not like that alcohol is not allowed on the beach no smoking on the beach either and a lot of par uh, people reaching out to us on social media and ask okay where the party is at uh, where the all <laughs> the, the beach <laughs> <laughs> popular spots uh, f f to go dancing uh, and drinking 
Hawaii is very family oriented. It's all about ohana. Most of the partying, if there is partying, would be in the Chinatown area. Um, and also, obviously, close friends that have parties at home and everyone just gets together. Those are kind of like ohana the biggest parties. parties, yes. A lot of you guys are excited to come to Hawaii because of all the hiking. No matter what island it is, hiking is such a big part of coming to the Hawaiian Islands. The good news is that there are no snakes, so nothing poisonous that can bite you or harm you while you're actually on your hikes. Not unless you run into like a wild pig or something, then that's different. <laughs> or a centipede. Yeah. <laughs> And since Hawaii is so far away from the mainland, there are no seagulls here either. Seagulls can't fly that far, apparently. And you better not bring one here. <laughs> <laughs> but just because there are no seagulls here doesn't mean there are no roosters. Yes, and roosters and chickens on all the islands like they run rampant like some places you know you might see cats or dogs kind of just walking around here roosters it is pretty shocking to me to see a chicken or a rooster in the middle of this city uh, i usually associate it with country lifestyle so to see roosters and chickens in a big city it's really shocking to me so before we continue with the next 10 of our personal shockers, I wanna take this moment to let you guys know that we do stream, we go live every single Friday from Waikiki or maybe wherever else on the island, and we keep you update on everything going on as far as COVID related. We all know things change by the minute here, but no worries, we've got you. Every Friday when we go live, we keep you updated on, on everything that happens throughout the week. And if something is breaking that we feel you guys should know right out the gate, we come live and we let you know as well on Instagram and here on YouTube. And for those of you who have been following us for a while, kind of get to know us a little bit more, uh, know our personality, but on live, we get to know you. And it's definitely so much fun chatting with you in a live chat box as we are live. We get to know your personality, uh, create some inside jokes, uh, laugh at each other. And a lot of fun. just, yeah, a lot of fun. So we definitely invite you to our Friday live stream. It is 6 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Pacific time, and 5 p.m. Central time. And 12 noon Hawaii time. Creating this Shockers video is something that we do when we travel to new places, new countries. We have done 20 Shockers of Russia, first impressions of Sydney, uh, and it's just uh, something we notice and it, it is different from what we are used to. Let us know in the comments if what we are saying are also Shockers to you, or maybe let us know what shocked you when you first came to Hawaii. Now we've been asked this question so many times on social media, in our inbox, emails, like when is the best time to come to Hawaii? Well, just don't come during the rainy season. And yes, there is a rainy season. And it is shocking to me how much it can rain here. Sometimes it rains the entire week, every single day. And the rain in Hawaii is very special. Sometimes it can be sunny and with a light shower drizzle, just like refreshing drizzle, and it's called a pineapple rain. And sometimes it rains a lot and the rain it, it drops really straight the usually hawaii has a lot of trade winds and in any other places where i've experienced rain it it's it could be rain with winds wind. so the rain would slap you around from different places but here in hawaii everything gets really quiet the wind die, dies down and all you hear is very light uh, noise like I love the rain here though. And with rain comes... Rainbows. rainbows! And yes, that was another shocker. Yes, it's known as the rainbow state, but like rainbows The amount day. of rainbows you can see, <laughs> I love it. Not only every day, sometimes you get to see several rainbows 
per day, mm -hmm. mostly in the rain season though. Before I came to Hawaii, I had no idea that Hawaii grows its own coffee. And it's interesting that every island that produces coffee, the coffee tastes differently. And it also depends on the way that they ha harvest coffee, the wash process or natural process. And Kona coffee can only grow in the Kona district on the Big Island. And one thing I came to find out very quickly is that Hawaii is also spam capital. <laughs> you can go to McDonald's and you can order a spam sandwich in McDonald's. When you go to any restaurants, there are spam in made all different types of ways. It's prepared so many different ways. And when you're in Walmart, the spam is actually locked up in its own container that an attendant has to come and, and the open it for you. Is so precious. I love online shopping. One thing that really shocks me is the shipping fees. Most of the companies now ship to Hawaii for free with the minimum amount of purchase, but stores like Macy's or Walmart, even though they are located right on the island, they still charge you surcharge for shipping. Now let's talk pigeon. Wait, let's not talk pigeon. Okay, we're not going to talk pigeon. So pigeon is just a dialect on the island and it's better left to the locals. We'll just leave that right there. Now we all know that we need to care for our land, care for nature and be nature conscious. No matter where you come from. But living in Hawaii for close to three years, we came to learn that Hawaiians take special pride and take special care for their land. You will see signs here everywhere, Malama Aina, which means care for the land. Another thing that shocked me are the waves. Even though you are on the same island, during summertime on the south side the waves are bigger and on the north shore during the, the summer they are calm and flat. Yet comes winter time, the north shore brings huge, massive waves perfect for worldwide surf competitions and during the winter at the south shore the waves get way smaller. And the last shocker that still shocks me is the distinct weather patterns on all of the Hawaiian islands. On the east side it is way more rain, more wind, it is called windward side for a reason. Mm -hmm. And the west side is way drier and it's called leeward side and it applies to every island, Oahu, Maui, the Big Island too. Yes, Hilo is on the east side, that's why it rains. And it's good to know, especially for the winter time, when you're planning your trip to Hawaii, winter time gets more rain and it's on the east side. So when you're planning your vacation during winter months, we recommend the west side. And there you have it. That concludes our 20 personal shockers. These are things that when we came to Hawaii, they kind of caught us off guard. We weren't expecting it. How about you? When you visited Hawaii for the first time, did you have any personal shockers? Or well, if you haven't been to Hawaii yet, are any of those things you did not know and you agree that it might shock you? Leave it in the comment below. Let us know. Mahalo so much for watching and as usual, just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us. Cheese! <laughs> ah, see that sounds just horrible. Uh -huh. It's melting in... Okay. And, and in Kona district, <laughs> no, there is a fly. Why are you whispering? To though? get it. Am I? You're am I? Super whispering. Am I? Yeah, you are. Really?